Right. Can't do that.
You call yourselves officers of Kairos' army, but your conduct falls short of my expectations. The court finds your accounts of Vendrian's well lacking, rife with misdirection and fallacy, fouled with baseless accusation. Sounds like the armies have been tripping over their feet to pass the blame to someone else. Careful it doesn't end up in your lap. Fakebinder, you arrive just in time. The representatives of the Vendrian's Well Siege have finished their testimony, and I cross-examine. Any closing statements, Lieutenant? Silence. The contradictions in your statements will be examined, and falsities threshed from truths. If we find you have perjured yourselves, Blood and Mark will see to your fate. Fatebinder, we will start with the matter of the Archons. Graven Ash and the voices of Nerat have declared war upon each other. In addition to violating Kairos' peace, they have thrown the conquest of the Tears into disarray. By all accounts, these hostilities began shortly after your arrival. Tell us what transpired. The Fakebinder presents testimony. I warn you both against speaking out of turn. Something more than a mere disagreement unraveled this campaign. But I will return to that in time. Let us speak of Ascension Hall. The disfavored sing your praises across the realm, though the Scarlet Chorus appeal for charges of treason. Perhaps you can offer a more enlightened account. An efficient solution. The type I would expect from a capable agent. Tell me though, with the edict looming overhead and death the price of failure, why not employ the numerical advantage of the Scarlet Chorus? I will consider this testimony at length. The court thanks you for it. Is there anything you wish to add at this time? Your testimony is accepted by the court. The statements of our guests raise questions in my mind. There is much about this campaign that has caused me to wonder. A shipment of iron weapons was short on arrival. Where coveted iron is concerned, I don't believe it to be a clerical error. One of my agents recovered this seal in Echo Call. It belongs to a merchant collective. Lethian's Crossing is teeming with their kind. If you would root out treachery, I would advise starting there. Petitioners, leave us. I would have a private audience with the Fatebinder. Ascend and join me. You will find the way opened. I've got it. This civil war, this feud, is an insult to Kairos' peace. It should not have taken the better part of a year to silence the last vestiges of the Oathbreakers. Our allies squabble while our enemies regroup. 
It falls upon the court to measure the extent of the damage and to execute the agents of disorder. I suspect that treachery, negligence, disunity, and greed have infected one or both of our esteemed allies. Until you are instructed otherwise, this matter is the court's primary focus. Graven Ash and the voices of Nerat must be examined in close detail. You are charged with observing the Archons and presenting your case that one of them has wrought chaos and disorder upon the tears. As always, you will be held accountable for what you do in the court's name, but you are free to conduct your investigation in the manner of your choosing. You must expect lies, misdirection, and manipulation. Suffer not such obstructions of justice. The disfavored seem the logical first step in your inquiry. The Legion holds you in some esteem, and Graven Ash has shown deference to the court in times past. No doubt the disfavored will be rife with accusations and evidence against the voices of Nerat. Graven Ash is a noble man, but never underestimate his capacity for deception. A wise general succeeds by knowing when to be unreadable to the enemy. You should, of course, speak with the Scarlet Chorus and gather their testimony, but it stands to reason that most in the Chorus would sooner brag about a pauldron fashioned from your skull than entertain your questions. Do not regret killing the rabble that impede your investigation. They will be easily replaced. Your fellow Fatebinders have been busy acting as my eyes and ears. I have a few leads for you to follow. You should of course speak with your brothers and sisters of the court if you need further counsel. Though the disfavored were triumphant in the Blade Grave, I understand that their troubles within the region are unfinished. Talk to the disfavored commanders serving in the Blade Grave. Perhaps they can shine some light on the origins of this feud. The Oathbreakers were reported to be using iron armaments, more than they might acquire from looting what few disfavored they killed. Any iron in the tears not rusted through was made by forge-bound hands in Lethian's Crossing. Between craftsman and quartermaster, someone let iron fall into enemy hands. Investigate this matter, and bring the thieves to justice. There is a final matter to discuss. A sensitive topic. In spite of the many shortcomings at Vendrian's Well, you managed to make a name for yourself. You proclaimed an Edict of Kairos, resolved its demanding conditions, and ascended the mountain spire. Any one of these feats would be worthy of recognition by the highest authority. You managed to accomplish three. Your sense of obligation to your role is admirable, but modesty will not recommend you to the task ahead. Whether by design or by accident, you have captured the attention of Kairos' army and the local tearsmen alike. This is no small opportunity, and the court charges you with exploiting your new standing to its fullest potential. You have a title in our hierarchy. However, it's a little-known secret that one's standing in the world is determined by their infamy, their deeds, and how they come to be known. Mind this notion as you bring justice to this lawless frontier. There may come a time when your deeds speak for you louder than any title. Whatever you did to capture the attention of the masses at Vendrian's Well, I would encourage you to do so again. You begin to understand. Whether your acts are favorable or heinous, it falls to you to bring greatness to this campaign. You are dismissed. Should the court have need of your presence, you will receive word. Go forth and do my bidding, and bring glory and honor to the tears in Kairos' name.
Not a problem. On it.
Yes. 